Hello everyone! I am Teacher V and welcome here on my channel. Gumagawa ako ng mga videos na makakatulong sa inyo para mas maintindihan at maunawaan ninyo ang mga lessons ninyo sa mathematics. Lalo na ngayon na distance learning at walang face-to-face -face classes, maganda na kahit nasa bahay lang kayo, nag-aaral at natututo pa rin kayo ng mathematics. Kaya ano pang hinihintay nyo? Tumambay na sa channel ko at i-invite din yung mga kaklase or kaibigan nyo. I-share nyo sa kanila yung mga videos na ginagawa natin dito para sila rin naman ay matuto sa mathematics. Ang lesson natin for today ay para sa mga grade 10 students. Ang lesson natin today ay tungkol sa comparison ng permutations and combinations. Since naintindihan na natin or napag-usapan na natin ng manakaraang weeks, yung permutations, then week 2 yung combinations, this time, i-compare natin sila. Okay, ano ba yung pagkakaiba nila para hindi tayo nalilito kung ano bang gagamitin natin, kung permutations ba o combinations. Okay, once again, I'm Teacher V at ipapaalala ko lang sa'yo na you are essential. Okay, now, ang ating learning targets or learning competency is to compare permutation and combination according to their meaning, order, answer, derivation, and formulas. So, alamin natin yung uh, comparison nila. Now, let's have uh, the first one, which is the meaning. So, when we say permutations, it refers to the different ways of arranging a set of objects in a sequential order. Okay, arranging set of objects in sequen sequential order. Okay, so ang keywords natin dito sa permutations is yung arranging a set of objects. Pagdating naman sa combinations, uh, it refers to several ways of choosing items from a large set of objects such that their order does not matter. Dito naman choosing, mamimili tayo. Tapos, yung order doesn't matter. Okay, nakita niyo Permit, Permutation, arranging, combination, choosing. Punta naman tayo sa... Next, which is, yan, yung order. Emphasize lang ulit natin yung order. So, permutations, order, placement, and position are relevant. So, napakahalaga yan sa permutation. While on combinations, order, placement, and position are irrelevant. So, sa combination, it doesn't matter kung may order bang sinusunod. Kasi nga, sa combination, pumipili ka lang. Sa permutation, ina-arrange mo. Okay? Next, Tignan naman natin yung uh, what it denotes. Um, yung permutation, it denotes the arrangement or several ways to arrange things, people, digits, alphabets, colors, etc. Ayan, ito nabanggit ko na kanina, arrangement siya. So, ina-arrange natin at usually sa problem ng permutation, ang involved doon ay things, people, Digits, yan yung mga digits, alphabets, colors, ayan, permutations, yan. Tapos, sa combination, selection. Okay, selection or pipili ka lang. Combination indicates different ways of selecting menu items, clothes, subjects, and etc. So, dito nga, sa combination, most of the problems involved dito ay yung mga pagpipili ka ng menu, pipili ka ng pagkain, ng, ng prutas na gusto mo, Okay, subjects. Okay, so those are uh, examples of combinations. Next, it answers uh, the following questions. Yung permutation, sinasagot niya yung how many different arrangement can be created from a given set of objects. So, arrangement. While on combination, how many diff different groups can be chosen from a larger group of objects? Punta naman tayo sa example ng permutations and combinations. Okay, best example natin sa permutation is choosing a first, second, and third place winners from a beauty pageant. Okay, kasi talagang kailangan may pipiliin ka doon, no winners, first, second, and third. While sa combination, picking top 10 finalists in no order in a beauty pageant. Kasi pipili ka lang naman ng sampo sa mga contestants. Sa combination yun, kasi magseselect ka lang. Pero sa permutation, i-arrange mo yung order na dapat may first, may second, and may third. 
Okay? So, doon, nakikita natin yung pagkakaiba nilang dalawa. Next is yung formula na kailangan mong tandaan. Pag permutation, ito yung formula natin. So, we have n factorial over the difference of n and r factorial. While sa combination, n factorial over the difference of n and r factorial, then r factor, factorial. So, halos the same. Anong pinagkaiba? Sa combination, merong r factorial sa denominator. Pero almost the same sila ng formula. Now, uh, ito pa yung mga samples natin ng permutation. Okay. So, ranking people, sequencing of draws, locking with a def definite sequence, forming of words with the given letters, and forming of numbers with the given digits. So, yan yung mga most commonly samples na ginagamitan ng permutations. At pagdating naman sa combination, ito na. Handshaking with each other, numbering in no particular order, picking multiple objects in one draw, forming a team. Okay, forming a team from a number of players, forming a particular committee from a number of players. Okay? So, tignan yung mabuti yung pagkakaiba nilang dalawa. Now, let's have uh, some exercises. So, write P if the situation involves a permutation and C if it is combination. May mga situations dito, alamin natin kung permutation ba siya or combination. So, number one, choosing five valuable players from a group of nine. So, choosing. O, di ba? Pag choosing, pipili. So, ano yun? Uh, permutation or combination? Okay, let's see. Tama. Ang sagot ay combination. Number two, six toppings for a pizza. Okay, six toppings. So, pipili ka lang dito, di ba? Sa six top toppings na to. No order. No particular order. Kaya ito ay combination then. Next, number seven. Uh, next, number three, selecting seven students to form classroom officers. Yun, selecting. So, pipili ka ng seven students para sa officers mo. E di ito ay combination din. Number four, three different pupils sit on two chairs. So, three different pupils na uupo sa dalawang chairs. Ano kaya? Permutation ba to or combination? Okay, the answer is combination. Kasi wala namang nilagay na condition. Basta kailangan three different pupils uupo sa dalawang chair. Okay. Next, number five, opening a combination lock. So, dito, obviously, pag sinabi ko may mga lock-lock, yan, may mga digits, kailangan ang operation doon or ang formula na gagamitin natin is permutation. Okay, so permutation yung number five. How about number six, assembling a jigsaw puzzle? So, obviously, kailangan ng order nito kasi hindi naman po pwedeng, kasi hindi naman po pwedeng, di ba, pagsamasamahin mo lang nang hindi mo ina-arrange yung mga puzzle. Kailangan i-arrange mo to in order at tama yung position niya dapat. So, ito ay permutation. And forming a committee of five members from 20 people. So, bubuo ka ng committee, five members out of 20 so, ito ay combination. Kasi wala namang order na binanggit. So, basta pili ka lang doon ng limang members. Then, lastly, two girls and three boys sit in a row of five seats. Okay, may two girls, tapos may three boys. I uupo mo ng maayos into five seat per row. So, i-arrange mo to. Kaya ito ay permutation. So, nakita ninyo, madali lang mag-identify kung permutation or combination ba yung gagamitin natin sa mga situations na given. Ngayon, mag-practice kayo. Ito na, dito na tayo sa VMAT quiz. So, dito, magbibigay ako ng five questions na sasagutin nyo lang. Tapos, try nyo isulat yung mga answers ninyo dyan sa ating comment section. Lagay nyo lang. Lagay nyo yung name nyo tapos yung school ninyo. Tapos, yung answer ninyo din, ipili ako ng top 5 or may pinakamataas na score. At yun yung i-shoutout natin sa susunod kong video. Kaya, lagay nyo na sa comment yung mga answers ninyo. Tignan natin kung tama. So, 
Write P if the situation involves a permutation and C if combination. So, number one, high fives with classmate. Number two, entering the pin of your ATM card. Number three, order on a shelf. So, yung books sa shelf, pag-order nun, ay ayos nun. Number four, selecting three posters to hang out of six different posters. And number five, assigning seats to guests at dinner. So, ilagay niyo lang kung P, pag-permutation, and C, pag-combination. So, hintayin ko yung mga answers ninyo, ha? At, nagkita-kita tayo ulit sa susunod kong video lesson. Basta tandaan na sa math, kailangan bukasan yung isip at puso para dumali at masagutan mo yung mga problems sa math. Kasi kung iisipin mo na mahirap pang math at hindi mo kaya, mahihirapan ka talaga. Sabi nga nila, mahalin mo muna si math para mahalin ka rin niya. Okay? So, see you again sa susunod. Pagsusolve naman tayo ng iba pang mga problems related dito sa combi. Don't forget to click the like button kung nakatulong ang video ko na to sa'yo. At click mo na rin yung subscribe para maging updated ka palagi sa mga videos na i-upload ni Teacher V. Pwedeng-pwede mo rin akong i-follow sa Facebook sa aking page, VTeach Channel. Pwede ka rin mag-send ng message or questions doon. Okay, so see you again and goodbye!